friends, uh, my name is Brian and today I'm going to be shooting a video on an Evolution Rage 2 uh, chop saw from Home Depot. So I picked up this saw because I've got a lot of metalworking coming up. I'm actually kind of excited. Uh, in one of my other videos I'll be reviewing a Diversion 180 that I picked up. Miller had a fantastic rebate going on. So I bought a Miller TIG welder. Um, so uh, anyway, this is about my Rage chop saw. So it advertises it can do a little bit of everything. And I gotta tell you, right off the bat, I'm pretty impressed with it. They make a bunch of other saws. But uh, what I like is it pretty much comes ready to work out of the box. So it's well packaged. You basically lift it out and unwrap the packaging and put it to work. Um, I did tighten the um, blade because I, I never really trust the factory, but it, it was pretty tight. So I think it would have been okay to use, but um, I've heard that any wobble whatsoever destroys these blades. So with that, let's do it to it. So it says it can cut all sorts of stuff. Well, guess what? I got all sorts of stuff to cut. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut some wood, some wood with nails, because I, I just want to see if it does what it says it'll do. Uh, I've got a piece of aluminum floating around here that I don't really need, so we'll cut it, and then we'll graduate to steel, which is what we really bought this for. Um, and this is going to replace a Harbor Freight uh, bandsaw that is effective but slow and eats blades. So let's see how much faster this thing is. And the fact that it's versatile is just a bonus. Who knows, I might end up buying the miter stand for it because I don't like working on the ground. But anyway, let's see what we got. So um, before I get started, you may notice I'm holding my protective, uh, personal protective gear. So I'm going to wear earplugs. I am going to wear a respirator and a mask. I'm really wearing this for eye protection, but it doesn't hurt to keep the dust out of my lungs either. So uh, I'm going to readjust the camera, get set up here, and go to town. This off. Yep, it cuts wood. So that's awesome. The clamp mechanism is a little slow, but it has a clamp mechanism, which is really nice because cutting metal, you want that. So uh, I'm going to use this to salvage this piece of wood and cut out the piece with the nails in it. Well, so that was some not nice behavior, and I'm really glad I was wearing my personal protective gear because it grabbed the first nail and flung it around and shot it out to the side. So good thing is it didn't go anywhere it shouldn't have gone, but um, I wouldn't recommend cutting through loose nails with this thing. That, that was dangerous. That was fucking scary is what that was. So it did, I mean, it literally just grabbed the nail. Um, that could have been bad news for the blade. I'd be really surprised if, if it didn't do a number on the... the teeth and I'm just kind of looking to see if I see anything major. Now, seems to be pretty tough. So we'll put this back over in the scrap pile and let's graduate to aluminum or as my friends in Britain say, aluminium. So I've got a little piece of plate and I'm just going to cut it and see what happens. And this is the real deal. This is why we actually bought this thing was to cut metal. The fact that it cuts wood is just a bonus. Although I wouldn't cut anything with nails in it. I didn't like how it behaved. Let's get this nice and square. And then let's see what happens. It's showtime. Well, 
You know, it might be better to call this thing Schwarfenegger because it makes a whole hell of a lot of schwarf. But it produces a beautiful cut and did it pretty darn quick. I wasn't really pushing on the blade. I just wanted to see what it does. Um, you know, I can't tell you how many times I have needed to cut aluminum and uh, that's a really nice cut. Really nice cut. Um, it did overheat a little bit. You can see some gumming going on here. So I'll bring this up to the camera. You know, for the purposes of uh, welding, man, this is beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna switch this back to autofocus. And um, one of the things that's kind of cool is it comes with a uh, bracket for doing pipe. And this is just a little clamp that will pop in here. It just slides down on here and it just gives you a way to wedge against pipe. So if you need to cut pipe, you can. Um, ah, that's a beautiful, beautiful cut. Um, and it seems to cut a little bit better where, where I pushed faster. I don't need to cut this up and I don't have nearly as much aluminum in my life as I used to. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to just cut it for the hell of it, but I do have plenty of steel. So I'm going to cut this for the hell of it. First thing I'm going to do is the end of this is not true. So I want to true this up because whatever I do with it, I can't do anything with it if it's not true. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to take a, a little bit more than a half an inch off because I don't think you should probably do real thin cuts on this thing. And let's just see how it works. And I'm going to do two cuts. I'm going to cut this side, then I'm going to flip it over and cut the other side. Wow, I tell you, that is a hell of a lot faster than a bandsaw. No two ways about it. This is going to work wonders on my fabrication projects. I mean, the thing that I hate the most is making cuts. And it looks like maybe that's off a little bit. Uh, I wonder where that went. It came with a really nice little um, Allen key. Yeah, there it is. So I don't think that was square. It's not square looking at it. Ah. There are probably better adjustment mechanisms, and if I was really going to do some super precision work, I think I would want to break out a square and check this. But you know, and I'm going to recut this because I actually do want this to be square. And I'm going to do a thin cut this time and just see what happens. I'm only going to take off like a quarter of an inch. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Fast, efficient, accurate. I just don't know why I don't know one of these before. It does produce a 
shit ton of schwarf. That's okay. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna do the other side. But this is, this is weld ready. And again, I'm just gonna shave off the end of this. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is gonna change the game when it comes to fabrication. That's amazing. And it was only $190. So if you sign up for Home Depot's um, pro emails, you'll get 20 or $25 coupons every Monday. Sometimes they alternate them with paint specials, but um, you know, it's not hard to find something else that's $10 and then you can get this thing for, you know, if you find $189 plus $11 worth of something, you'll get it for 200 bucks. What a deal. pushing it a little bit. Sorry, there's some static there. Ouch. Hey, that's kind of hot. I'll pick it up by the shaving. But that's a really thin... Uh, it looks like I'm out of focus here. But this is a really thin cutoff. So, and you can see it's just a little bit thicker on one side than the other, so it was out of square. There we go. And what we're left with is a really square block that I actually don't have anything I need right this second, but that's okay. Um, you know, this is going to be a really, really efficient tool for doing prep work for fabrication because I can cut stuff really fast and I always used to dread doing all my prep cuts. Um, you know, your welding is only as good as your prep. So, um, anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed my video and I highly recommend getting one of these cold cut cutoff saws. And uh, you might want to get a magnetic broom to go with it if you do a lot of steel because it does produce a fair amount of uh, schwarf and chips. But it, at least it's not like, oh, I don't want to sit on this crap. Um, it's not like um, the bandsaw which produces filings and the filings tend to have oil on them if you want your band saws to last any length of time. So um, I think at this point I'm going to have a band saw for sale because I won't be using it anymore. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.